Hello everyone, we are now coming back to you with the full Nintendo Switch story. If you haven't watched the first part, yesterday somebody got hold of a Nintendo Switch early. Many people thought it was fake, then they posted a video showing that this was real and the internet was up in arms. A lot of people posted a lot of videos and nobody really knew what was going on obviously I was contacting my source on the inside of Nintendo try and figure stuff out and we've got the full story now not mainly more from the user himself so the NeoGAF user is called Hip Hop the Robot and he is the one that got his hands on the switch and after Many people claim that, you know, just the start video could have been leaked or whatever. He provided a, another YouTube user by the name of DYSFY, Dicefly. I'll link his video or the original video in the description below. But anyway, Dicefly got in contact with Hip Hop the Robot and Hip Hop provided him with a full Nintendo Switch unboxing, which is the video that you are all watching right now. So he is unboxing the system and we get to see the first looks inside of the system. Now what is interesting is with this they also asked him a couple of questions and he provided answers and he said he didn't pick it up at a game store. It was delivered from an unknown game store. So the site which he pre-ordered it from, which he wouldn't disclose, has sent him a pre-order early. Um, as we do not know the site, we do not know the company, but he refuses to also disclose which company sent out the pre-orders early. But it was an online company, not a real-life company. Anyway, as we're watching this unboxing, there's something that you all need to keep a note of, because I attached this video to the email I sent to my source on the inside of Nintendo and they noticed this thing and I was like oh okay because Hip Hop the Robot he isn't stupid obviously a lot of people around the world are seeing this unboxing and a lot of people are sending this you know on Twitter it's trending it's getting a lot of traction including Nintendo higher ups knowing about this thing and because he knew it would get a lot of traction and it's not uh, Dicefly it's not the YouTube user himself that has done this it is the NeoGAF user that created this video that has done this in the editor but if you watch and I will go to the two points in the video where it happens as well so here and here If you noticed, he blurred out the barcodes because every switch that has currently been manufactured, this is now coming from the inside source at Nintendo and this is why Nintendo uh, can't track it or why it was blurred. It was blurred for this reason. You see, every product that exists has a barcode and that's not just for shops to scan to register, but every barcode has a unique number and that unique number tells you what unit it is. Now, Nintendo has made 2 million units of the Nintendo Switch and whatever number that one is that this guy's got obviously went to a certain particular store. Now, according to my resources at Nintendo, uh, she says that all of the we use or not we use all of the switches have been produced and they did leave the factory in Japan and have been distributed to the Nintendo um, headquarters worldwide over two weeks ago and right now all of the switches have been in transit to companies or companies are now getting them some haven't got them yet others are just barely receiving them so it is this particular switch must have literally been received one day ago and then sent out to the guy the very next day like they've only just barely got their hands or the distributor has only barely just got their hands on this 
and then they've just shipped it to him. But if that barcode was unblurred and Nintendo got hold of this, they would be able to see what number it is, and by seeing what number it is, they'd be able to locate which country it's from, and more specifically, which country shipped it early, and which distributor shipped it to him early. So obviously, to save the distributor's identity, and to save the distributor getting hammered by Nintendo, the barcode has been blurred out so that the Switch cannot be tracked. So that's the actual reason for the blurred barcode, as if it was not blurred, Nintendo could track it to the country and distributor. So he isn't stupid, he knew Nintendo would eventually see this and would eventually catch on to that barcode. So he's been very careful in all of the content that he's produced to make sure any kind of barcode or anything that gives away the barcode has either been removed or blurred out. Um, now with this comes the official leak of the Switch. Like there's no more, oh, is it real? Is this guy working at Nintendo? Is he working at one of the game stores? No, we, we now know the full story that the actual online company shipped this thing to him early and he is blowing out the barcode to make sure that they don't catch this particular online company. And it's, it's now official. This is a 100% official leak. There's no, there's no um and ah in anymore. This guy got it early, the Switch has been leaked early, and of course, this is only the first of many videos to come. Um, he showed the unboxing and how it all goes together, as you've seen from the unboxing video, which is now playing for the second time. We can see how the AC adapter connects into the docking port, how the whole system switches on and links to the docking station, and of course, we have seen all of the UIs to go with it. So this is the first video of many, it's officially leaked and while nobody really knows when it's going to come and it hasn't 100% been confirmed by um, the NeoGAF user, he says more videos on the Switch are to come over the coming days. Uh, I don't know whether that's going to be a game because as of right now we've only seen the system being set up, we've only ever seen the UI but I'm assuming that this guy did indeed buy a game with his Switch, maybe even bought two games with his Switch. So I'm assuming that the videos that he's talking about in the future are going to be the the games he's got. So he's probably going to be showing 1-2 Switch and Breath of the Wild, you know, actual physical games for the system within the coming days. So I'll be sure to keep on top of that. Uh, speaking of Breath of the Wild, we're moving on now to the Breath of the Wild leak. Speaking of Breath of the Wild, that has already been leaked. According to uh, the hacking community, I got this message in my inbox, and according to the hacking community, the Breath of the Wild game is now on Nintendo servers. I can't say I know how it works, I'm not really part of that community, I just get the news from them. But... Whether it's the free shop or something attached to the free shop, because the Wii U was hacked long ago, because the Wii U was compromised long, long ago, all of the top hackers have got a Nintendo server ID system. So any product that goes up on Nintendo servers, the instant it goes up on the Nintendo servers, they can download it and start decompiling the ROM and... Last night, the Breath of the Wild uh, ROM went up on the Nintendo Wii U servers. Uh, it's 13 gigabytes big, so we now know that the entire Breath of the Wild game is 13 gigabytes big. It says Breath of the Wild bonus as well, which is uh, just under a couple of megabytes. So people are thinking that that's the three bonus chests. And as of right now, it has been downloaded by many of the top sources. Um, the person that I particularly speak to on Skype has also downloaded the um, unedited ROM. And it is currently being decompiled by top people. So that is probably going to be out a week early. Because we're still two weeks away from the Switch and of course Breath of the Wild's launch. 
and it's not going to take a week to decompile a ROM. It might take a couple of hours to decompile it, and it might take, you know, it might take a week to actually recompile it with coding to make it work with the free shop or loading or whichever one it is. However, that's still a week before launch, so whether it's going to take a couple of hours or a couple of days, the main point is the Breath of the Wild ROM is on the Nintendo Wii U servers. The ROM itself, or the main 13 gigabyte file itself, has been downloaded, it has been compromised, it's being decompiled as we speak, and I will, again, that's as far as I know right now, I will bring you more updates on that when it happens. So, right now it's just a waiting game. Obviously, we're waiting for the NeoGAF user to maybe upload him putting the um, SD card of Breath of the Wild and want to switch into the Switch, the videos he said that are coming in the future. And we're also waiting to see how the hackers deal with the Breath of the Wild ROM. And in the next couple of days, obviously, if we see people starting to play Breath of the Wild, we know that they have got a hacked Wii U and um, they have successfully cracked the ROM and recompiled it to work with Lodeen or whichever um, operating system you require to run hacked games. So at this point it is a waiting game, but it is now 100% confirmed that not only has the Switch been sent out by an unknown company early, so more than him have got it, because this is a company that sent several out early, so there could be other people, or there are other people, that have got the Switch early. They have just not made themselves public right now, but it's 100% confirmed the Switch has been leaked early. A unknown online company has distributed seven or eight pre-orders to different users, earlier than expected and Breath of the Wild's ROM is now on the Nintendo servers and all of the hackers have indeed downloaded that ROM and are currently uh, decompiling it. So that's that's the thing. I am probably going to be honest and scrap the uh, Spyro acquisition and I, did, I was going to reveal the name for it as well. I actually come up with the name and I got the name working correctly and it was a clever wordplay as well because it was like a word that actually exists in real life like you know Inquisition but Jim put his name at the beginning it was a word that existed in real life and I got Spyro in it and it was in the middle so it was like real word Spyro real word and I'm like oh I want to reveal that now but it's I think we're gonna have to scrap that episode the episode that I showed on camera last time where I had all of the icons and stuff I'm I'm probably gonna scrap it I'm gonna put the beginning of it on this video so I'm gonna show up now and put the beginning of it on this video so that you can go vote like you can go and read all the comments about the $20 DLC uh, you can go vote on the icon because I talk about voting on the icon and we'll go from there and after that, I'm obviously going to wipe my desktop of all of the, the comments. And I'm probably going to make a new uh, Spyro acquisition, which is just the fuck up week of Nintendo. Like, I will cover the $20 DLC, the Nintendo Switch leak, the Breath of the Wild ROM that's been compromised. Like, I'll have to just scrap that one which was just about the DLC and make a new one which is just a full list of the failures of Nintendo this week because it's been a massive disaster for Nintendo this week. And, um, yeah, so thank you all for watching. And I will leave you now with the uh, scrapped recording. I will leave you with the scrapped intro. So please do go and vote for the logo that you think is best. There are six that appear in this um, ending bit so please do leave your feedback on that please do go vote on a logo and obviously once the voting is complete you can go onto my deviant art and look up all the hd versions but once the voting is complete and i've got a general consensus of which of the six versions looks the best i'll go get that properly commissioned by my friend but for now thank you all for watching and I will see all of you later tonight with a Kingdom Hearts video. 
and we'll we'll go from there. So, before we begin an update, we have a design for the logo. I had a couple of people give me some interesting designs, and the one I went with, I doodled it up myself, so it's not proper yet, but I've got six versions of it. And it's basically the S, but it's got the wings, and it's got an orb behind it, and then also a gem, but I don't know if the gem looks okay, or if it should just be this. But I'm going to put all six on screen right now, and you can leave a comment down below, or go onto my DeviantArt where I'll upload all of the bigger versions that you can have a look at separately, and the DeviantArt's down below. But basically... I don't know which one to go with, so I want you all to vote on which one of the six you like the most, and then when I know which of the six everybody likes the most and the one I'm happy with, I'll get one of my friends to turn that into a full, proper vector that has got some artistic cohesion. You know, it's not just like a CGI S with uh, someone else's orb and some crappy paint wings. It'll all actually be done by the same artist. So I'll commission that. And the intro music was also decided. So I'll start using that, but I've got to get the intro all fully animated and commissioned. But for now, let's focus on the logo for this episode. And also, please continue to throw... Oh no, someone someone, give me a name as well. I should change the name. I'll leave it as Spiral Acquisition for this one episode. But someone did give me the name. I just need to work in the O. Because someone had the, word, the letters S-P-Y-R. And it's like, oh, so close. We're just missing the O. But when you add the O, it doesn't sound right. So I'm just trying to work in the O for the final name. But we've got the name. Uh, we're going to vote on the logo now. We've got the intro music. But I just want you to all vote on the logo. But anyway, anyway, Nintendo, if you can't tell from that intro, Nintendo's being stupid again. Jesus, too... Two fucking spiral acquisitions in a row, and they're both about Nintendo. This is gonna, this is gonna go down. It's gonna go down great, isn't it? It's gonna go down really goddamn well. So yes, because Nintendo just can't stay away from trouble because they're naughty little boys. Let's talk about Nintendo again. <laughs> 